Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely T T V show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely T T V show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good this evening. So if you guys do not know, the Meg The Stallion and Tory Lanez trial started today. And child, a lot of tea's coming out. A lot of stuff is being spilled. The guy from Lawyers for Work, he's the one who had covered the Tahashi 6 9 trial. He's speaking on what he heard in the courtroom. And also Dennis Byron, who covered the Cardi B trial. Shout out to Dennis. He's also speaking on what went down in the courtroom as well. Now, what's very interesting is that months ago, I told Meg Thee Stallion fans and I told a lot of people that her sexual business would be brought into the courtroom. I was cussed out. I was told I was shaming her all because I called out her Gail King interview and I said she's clearly lying. And what's going to be more embarrassing with her lying to Gail King is when all this comes out in a court of law. Did you have an intimate relationship with him? Like sexual? Yeah, yeah. Did you have, <laughs> did you, Megan, <laughs> did you have a sexual relationship with Tory Lanez? Yes, that's my question. Um... I didn't have a sexual relationship with Tori. People swore up and down that her sex life had nothing to do with this situation. It would not be brought out. I was reaching, but I told y'all it would be brought out because the defense has to come up with some type of motive. Okay, and they're going to play the game that the motive, another possible motive in the shooting could be Kelsey because they're so busy fighting over multiple dicks. From what's coming out, they're saying Megan and Kelsey both smashed Ben Simmons. They smashed the baby. They smashed Tori. It's a mess. At the end of the day, do I care that they smashed all these people? No. But I told you guys this was all going to come out in a court of law. And so now everybody's talking about it. It's all over social media. Like I said, from day one, I have no dog in this fight. I'm just here to sit tea and see what ends up happening. Um, of course, they're going to pull off stops because Tory's literally fighting for his life here. I think the max he's looking at is 20 years, which is really serious. So it's going to be very interesting to see which way this goes. But I want to go ahead and play you guys the videos, uh, both from Lawyers for Workers and also from Dennis Byron. So y'all can go ahead and listen to what they got to say. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about this situation that's come out so far. Um, they even talked about how Kylie Jenner had to put Megan out the house because of a bunch of drama they saying that Corey Gamble is supposed to be coming and testifying so this I wish this was live child they done bored us to death with that damn Johnny Depp trial this should have been on television because this is more interesting than anything especially being that we've been waiting damn near three years for this case okay so go ahead leave a comment let me know y'all's thoughts and as more information comes out I'll be updating you guys hopefully there'll be even more information tomorrow when Megan takes the stand and we get to hear her side as well um, and then I'll be doing a live stream sometime this week. So thank y'all for tuning in. I'll talk to y'all later. I had opening statements. Opening statements are still actually going. We have to pause midway through for lunch. Better than TV. If you watch the prosecution's opening statement, you would say guilty. If you then watch the defense's opening statement, you would say, what the hell is the prosecution thinking charging him? Basically, the prosecution started with this story. They said that, hey, they're all at the party. And Tori is leaving the party with Meg. They're in the car. An argument breaks out during which Meg says and insults his skills as a rap artist. This leads to a situation where she gets out of the car and he shoots at her feet and yells, dance, bitch. And then uh, she ends up at a hospital and a doctor takes out three fragments of uh, bullet wounds from her foot. Now, if you just hear, and, and the prosecution says that Kelsey, the other woman in the car, is gonna testify that Tori shot Meg. And Kelsey has a text message where she texts somebody that, hey, Tori shot Meg. And then the rest of the prosecution's case is based on all these calls and texts where Tori's like, oh, I'm so sorry, oh, I'm so drunk. He never says that I shot him. He's like, oh, I'm just so sorry, I'm so drunk. So question what, what he's apologizing for. So. It, that's the prosecution's case. Seems pretty easy. Then the defense comes up, and man, it gets spicy. First, the defense goes, they're not telling you about 
half of what's going on. The most important thing they're not telling you about, they're not telling you about an eyewitness who saw two women fighting, Kelsey and Meg. And so let's talk about why they are, them two are fighting. Let's talk about how she was in the front seat. The gun was caught in the front seat. Let's talk about how she might have gunpowder. She does have gunpowder. Let's talk about how this has nothing to do with the fight between Tori and Meg and everything to do with the fight between Meg and Kelsey. And then the defense starts dropping the bombs. He basically says this, that they're in the car. Yeah, they left. But do you know why they left? They left because Kylie and Tori were in the pool together. And Kelsey and Meg both felt some type of way about that to the point that Meg felt really some type of way about that. And she was really trying to go to the point that eventually, because of how Meg is acting, this is according to the defense, Kylie Jenner goes to Meg Stallion and says, it's time for you to leave. They all leave. The defense's point is what happens in the car is this. Tori questions Kelsey. Hey, Kelsey, why are you backing up Meg for me trying to, you know, get it on with Kylie Jenner? Meg has been snaking men from you your whole life. I hooked up with you, Kelsey. And then Meg went behind your back and hooked, and hooked up with me. And, Kelsey, this is not the first time. You have been hooking up with Ben Simmons. Meg went behind your back and hooked up with Ben Simmons. You have been hooking up with the baby. Meg went behind your back and hooked up with the baby. And so the defense starts dropping all these grenades. The crowd is captivated. The jury is like, oh, what's going on? All right, we're back with the rest of the update in Tory Lane. So we are taking our afternoon break. There's going to be more testimony at the end of the day. But right now, let me catch you up on what's happened since lunch. The defense continued and concluded their opening statement. They confirmed that their theory of the case is going to be that Kelsey was the shooter. Tory was just trying to break up the fight. Then the prosecution went up. They put on a police officer as their first witness. This is the police officer who arrived at the scene of the shooting. He testified about how he saw gun casings blood spatter. This was a big mistake in my opinion because the defense attorney ended up tearing this police officer's testimony to shreds. He basically got the officer to admit that they did not use the proper evidence markers to mark and identify the location of every piece of evidence. So the police cannot tell you where blood was found exactly in relation to the gun casings, where based on the trail of blood the victim would have walked around. They can't tell and paint the whole story of what happened when the person got out of the car. Why, if you can't paint that story, why, if you didn't use the evidence markers, why, if you purportedly have a very simple case, did you waste your time making your first witness a police officer whose testimony is going to get torn to shreds by the defense attorney? Big mistake, in my opinion, if you ask me. From here, going forward, the defense will always be able to point out that the government's investigation is completely incapable of telling the jury about the movement of the victim outside of the car. So if you're trying to inject reasonable doubt, alternative theories, you've now done a great job setting it up that the government's story has holes in it. All right, we wrapped up the first day of Tory Lane's trial testimony. Let me tell you what happened at the end of the day. This will be a two-parter on this first part. Let's cover what prosecutors believe is their key piece of evidence after the testimony they expect to get from Meg and the other woman who's in the car. So here's the prosecutor's point, that there's a jailhouse phone call. Reminder to everyone, when you get arrested and you're sitting in jail, they are listening, they are recording. What you say on that phone will be used against you. According to prosecutors, Tori calls the other woman who was in the car, Kelsey, and basically admits to shooting and apologizes profusely to her. The problem with that theory, according to the defense, is that, well, he never says he shot her. He's just apologizing profusely, and he could be apologizing for a lot of things. According to the defense, the apology is for basically blowing up Kelsey's spot and revealing that he had been in a relationship with both of them. What side will the jury to believe? It's way too early in the evidence. That call on its own means nothing. In fact, the uh, evidence that was presented was through a detective. They asked that detective, hey, when did you listen to this jailhouse call? What can you tell us about it? He basically said, yo, I heard it last week. They asked me to go retrieve it from the system. I retrieved it. I'm playing it here for y'all today. What does it mean? What does he mean? What's he talking about? I don't know that from that, so I couldn't really tell you, and, and he can't, and the jury is going to be looking at the rest of this evidence to really decide that, hey man, when this guy's calling Kelsey and saying, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to, what's he talking about? If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea, breaking news with integrity, so sell your friends and your family, it's the lovely TV show, bringing you good tea and good vibes, it's the lovely TV show, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.